So I'm, I'm going to share um, a video real quick of something. We're going to watch it together. It's from a video game, but it's literally how Palantir operates. And then I'm going to actually key you in to a project that Palantir is already working on, on with the military, especially the army, that not a lot of people know about. I was going to do a video about it, but... but now you're Palantir Bear, so it doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Hold on. So let me, let me share this video first. Because when Coach Trap sees it, I I'm sure he'll be like, wow, this is exactly what I'm talking about. But give it give it one second. Hold on. One. So right now, imagine you're in a battlefield, right? Like one of the one of the biggest things about a battlefield is something where you you have literally darkness. You don't know where anything is. You don't know where you, your units are. You don't know where their units are, blah, blah, blah. By the way, it's everybody, like, Chris is saying this is ex-military. So. Yeah. So in the theater of war, there's a ton of darkness all over the place, right? Everyone thinks that, oh, you know it's really easy to do but the believe it or not the the most effective way to fight a war is to have the greatest command and control center that you can possibly have so if you can if you know where your guys are and you know where their guys are dude you're like a hundred steps ahead of the ahead of the competition right this is what palantir's technology essentially can help the military do so let's watch the video together and then we could uh, we can talk about it <laughs> What's the sit rep on New York? The Russian jamming rigs have neutralized our air support. As long as they maintain air dominance, it's a losing fight. We cannot lose New York. Are there any special mission units in the area we can request? JSOC's got a Delta Force team at Bennett Field. Call sign Metal. Overlord, Metal 01 is up on Greenside. This is Sandman. Understand we are OPCON to you. Over. Glad to have you in our corner, Sandman. The Russians are using electronic countermeasures to jam our comms and guidance systems. The primary emission tower is on top of the stock exchange. I need your team to destroy it. The jammer's full spectrum, so until it's down, you'll have no radio contact. I have ground assets to get you close. Over. Copy all. We'll get it done. There's one more video, so just keep watching. Lightning 3-1, guidance systems are back online. Standing by with a full payload of JDAMs, requesting clearance. Lightning 3-1, you are cleared to engage. Bring in the hard deck, DOT, five seconds. Weapons away. Verify initial strikes on the Predator feed. Sir, appears all sites have been neutralized. Good work, Sandman. We've regained air dominance over Manhattan and pushed the front line back to the river. What's our next target? The Russian command vessel is an Oscar II submarine carrying enough cruise missiles to level the eastern seaboard. We need to strike fast before they can launch a counterattack. Roger, what's the mission? Infiltrate the vessel, take over the bridge, then turn their weapons against their own fleet. I need you to link up with the SEALs and get it done. Good luck. Get up, boys. Where's our infill point? Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. I thought it collapsed. It did. So... What we just saw was something that the military salivates over, okay? And that's real-time decision-making. There is no, in the military context, there's no such thing as real-time decision-making unless, like, literally it's two guys on the other side describing what is happening and the other guy saying, yeah, go ahead, do that. Right now, this this is the kind of technology that Palantir is developing, okay? With their geosats up there in the sky recognizing where the tanks are, how to plan things out, how to do real-time mission planning and actually utilizing resources from all over the, all over the, not just the army, but actually the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, because you can see that a lot of that stuff was all combined together, right? So that when you think about it, the army operates independently, the Air Force indep operates indep independently, but the mission is essentially the same, right? So you need to have that constant communication all over the place, while also at the same time analyzing everything that the enemy has going on in a specific area, region, strategy, whatever, and then develop plans on how you're going to counteract that. And you need to do it in a timely manner. 